Hi, I'm the Malt Activist and today we're going east, very, very far east. That's right, you've guessed it, we're going to Japan. And today I have a whiskey with me that I've never heard of before. Somebody gave it to me last night as a present. I've, you know, pretty much finished more than half the bottle. Uh, if you know anything about this whiskey, do let me know. Uh, I've tried to look it up on the internet, not found any uh, literature associated with it. So, I don't know, uh, maybe you've heard of it. This is called the Yamazaki 18. From uh, Centauri? Yeah, apparently it's, uh, it's a distillery in Japan. Very interesting. I didn't know Japan produced whiskeys. Wow. You learn something new every day, huh? So uh, this whiskey here, it's, uh, it's 18 years old. It's been matured in three different kinds of casks. So you have toasted American oak punchins, European sherry butts, and Mizunara punchins. So Mizunara is uh, a kind of tree, a wood that is exclusive to Japan. And last I read, um, uh, they can only make 200 casks a year because of the scarcity of the wood. Now, apparently this particular whiskey, the Yamazaki 18, is a bit of a unicorn, very hard to come by. I really can't find anything about this whiskey on the net. Strange. Hmm. Well, let's pour it out and see what the fuss is all about. Hmm. Seems like a nice color. This uh, sort of deep gold, dark gold. Hints of bronze. Maybe there's color added to it. I don't know. I don't think so. <sighs> mm. Surprisingly very nice. It's got a nice nose. Sweet caramel. Vanilla. Thick treacle. Marmalade. Bitter marmalade. Autumn leaves like potpourri. Mm. There's no off notes here. I get lots of uh, orange peels as well, bananas, there's a hint of oak, and then the spices come in, cloves, cinnamon, there's dark honey, there's cherries, dark cherries. Hmm, interesting. So this is a very nice nose. Um, so the Japanese really do know how to, to make a whiskey uh, smell nice. Hmm. Interesting. Have you heard of this? Have you heard of the Yamazaki 18? If you have, please just, you know, put it in the comments below and, you know, uh, let me know where I can get more of this because uh, I really seem to like it. Hmm. Nice nose. I like it. Wow, nice, nice delivery. This is at uh, 43%, quite oily, uh, fairly full bodied. Um, there's hints of um, peppery spices in here, uh, oranges, dark fruit like plums and cherries and raisins. There's sweet caramel, there's some dark chocolate here as well. Get spicy towards the end, cinnamon. And then I think the sherry influence kicks in with a Hint of leather and tobacco. Good, good delivery. I like it. And uh, the finish is nice and uh, medium to long. It's quite, it's quite spicy and warm uh, with hints of oranges. Hmm. Wow. I can't believe this whiskey has uh, stayed under the radar for this long. You know, I don't know many people who know about this. Uh, and I really think they should, you know, if they can get their hands on it. Whoa. I think they'll be pleasantly surprised. Unbelievable. Yeah. The oak is quite pronounced. Hmm, interesting. Let me see if I can uh, add some water to this and uh, see how that changes the flavor profile. Hang on.
Hi, I'm back and um, I actually had a better idea. I thought instead of adding a little bit of water to it, I wanted to see how it would react with a slightly different type of mixer. So let me just pour this into a much better glass. I've been told that if you really want to get good flavors out of uh, a particular whiskey, then this is the best way to, um, you know, uh, experience it. <sighs> yeah, I get a lot of uh, sweet and low. And, uh, and uh, yeah, just uh, lots of sweet and low. Free of sugar and free of color so good they don't add any color to this which is nice um, no e150 here great hmm yes very nice uh, quite sweet a uh, little uh, hint of uh, bitterness as well I think that's from the sweet and low For some reason, the um, the wood influence is sort of subsided. Uh, it's not as prominent as it was before. Hmm. Interesting. Wow. So this was a good experience. Um, I hope you learned something. Uh, I certainly did. And it's um, not to take yourself too seriously. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and this whiskey review that I just did. I'm the Malt Activist. Until next time. Peace.